succeed in their ambitions and fulfill their dreams. C Square also has a scholarship tie-up, a base tie-up with the prestigious Indian School of Business Hyderabad. In addition to this, we have conducted several admissions information sessions and alumni interaction with prestigious B schools around the world. Rendezvous is another attempt by C Square Learning to enable students to gain invaluable exposure and information while simultaneously increasing its age, reach and interest based among the student community. To begin with, I would like to welcome and introduce Ms. Mary Ranger, who is Associate Director of Admissions for the Asia region at ISAID Business School in Barcelona, Spain. ISAID, as one of the top global centers of management education, is the leading Spanish business school in MBA and executive education. Placed 18th worldwide in the FT ranking, ESA Business School is a globally oriented and highly diverse academic institution with over 50 years experience in management training. I now request Ms. Granger to address the students and dive into a detailed discussion on ESA. Thank you. It was a great introduction and uh, I think I can let you take it over because you clearly done your research. The only thing I want to correct is the pronunciation. Uh, people have a lot of trouble with it. You pronounce it as Sade, so you hear that. Sometimes people are confused. It's Sade. And uh, I'm going to give you a I'm going to try to be brief because it's at the end of the day, it's Sunday. I'm sure you have a lot of things that you want to do as well. I'm going to give you an introduction to this audit, and then I'm going to pass over to one of our alumni, Brady, who is going to be infinitely more interesting than I am. Um, and I think if you guys are going to have the opportunity to ask him questions as well about why he chose this audit, how that experience was, and uh, maybe some uh, questions. What I'd like to ask you, the questions are fine at any time, but some of you don't understand. If I skip a slide, don't worry about it too much. I'm going to try and uh, hit the high points. If you see something you want me to come back to, that's fine as well. But what I do ask you is to keep the questions general. So if you have any specific questions about your profile or anything like that, um, I've got my business cards here. I'm going to put direct email on them. Um, you're welcome to contact me at any time in the future. Right. It's the same long term. I know you're thinking, well, I have to get past the first hurdle. But you should be considering your career perspectives when you're considering the MBA program. So for example, if you're pretty sure about what you want to do after the MBA, you need to make sure that the MBA program you choose or the programs that you're targeting are going to help you meet those objectives. If you're interested in a specific company and they never visit that, that school, maybe you need to think about the fit with that program, your fit for that program. Concentration doing 60 to 80 hours a week. Great people, actually. 